Hi, welcome again. Uh, this video is going to be on explementary angles. Uh, explementary angles are angles whose sum is 360 degrees. So we've got two examples here. Basically, if you have a bunch of angles that are adjacent to each other and you know they share a bunch of rays, so you've got, for instance, take some chalk. I've got this angle, which I'm told the measure of it is 5x minus 12. I've got this angle, which I'm told its measure is 115 degrees. And I've got this large angle, which is over 180 degrees, it is 217. So if I combine them, I've got this angle, and I've got this angle, and then I've got this whole giant angle. I could position them so that I make a circle. Basically, like this is like an awkwardly cut pizza, you can think of it like that. But it does make one full circle, just a bit divided into different sections. The point is, if I add each one of these angles together, I should get 360. So, what we can do is I can just take them piece by piece and add them, and then say it equals 360. So I'm going to start with any one of these, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll start with the 217. I'll say 217 plus the next one, I can go clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't matter, plus 115 plus 5x minus 12. If I add them all together, like I said, I should get 360. So I'll set it equal to 360. All right, now I've got some stuff to combine, like terms. Well, I only have one thing that has an x in it, this 5x, so I'm just gonna bring that down, leave that out front. Now I'm gonna combine everything else. 217 plus 115 minus 12. Take my calculator, 217 plus 115 minus 12, I get 320. So plus 320, and that equals 360. Okay, now this is what we like. This is a two-step equation. We've solved lots of these. So 5 times x plus 320, get rid of the 320 first. Instead of adding it, subtract it from each side. And those will cancel. We're left with 5x. 360 minus 320 is 40. Okay, 5 times x equals 40. 5 times a number gives me 40. Well, I think back. I know that 5 times 8 gives me 40, and I will get that if I work backwards. Divide by 5 instead of multiplying by 5, and you get 40 divided by 5 is that 8 that I talked about. There we go. So if you want to check that this is right, you're going to go right in here, you're going to plug it in, and you're going to make sure that these three numbers, whatever they are, add up to 360. So let's see, 5 times 8, like I said, that's 40. 40 minus 12, that's 28. So this angle is 28 degrees, this angle is 115, this angle is 217. So you go into your calculator, you add up 28, 115, and 217, and you cross your fingers and hope it's 360. Let's see, 115 plus 28 plus 217, and type that in. You should get 360 like I did just there. Okay, there we go. That's not right. There you go. Let me try again. Right there. 360. Awesome. That's done. So we've got one more problem to try. Same idea. You've got this angle here. You've got this angle next to it. And you've got this huge angle all the way around. So if I combine the three pieces of these together, I would get a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them together as they go around. Maybe we'll start here this time. I'll start with 4x plus 14. I'll add that to 6x minus 9. And then I gotta keep going, I gotta add this 295. And I know that since it's their exponential angles, they form a circle. Together they make 360 degrees. Uh, one common mistake I see a lot, I say people, I see people add these and say that it equals 295. It's it's a different angle. You can clearly see this is acute, this is probably less than 90. It can't possibly equal 295. So definitely don't do that. Um, but what we are going to do is the same thing we did over here. We're just going to combine like terms, solve for x. So I look through for x's. I see 4x. I see 6x. 4x plus 6x is 10x. So I'm going to write down 10x. And then I'm going to combine my constants. I see positive 14, negative 9, positive 295. I'll see 14 minus 9, that's 5. 5 plus 295, that's 300. So I've got 10x plus 300. All my things have been combined, so I just bring down the other side, equals 360. And then again, every single time we're going to get to a two-step equation. So it will be really, really nice and easy. Uh, I was adding 300, so instead I subtract 300. 
subtract 100 here, have those cancel, I'll be left with 10x here, and I find out that's equal to 360 minus 300, that's uh, 60. And now all I have to do is get rid of this 10. Since this said 10 times x, I do the opposite. I divide on both sides, divide by 10, divide by 10, cancel my 10s. 60 divided by 10 does give me 6. Let's see if this worked. So we're going to take our x down here, our 6. We're going to plug it back into these expressions. Instead of 6 times x, it'll now say 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 minus 9 is 27. So I know this angle is 27 degrees, this little skinny guy. And then I've got this slightly larger angle. Let's see, 4 times x, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 14 is 38 degrees. And then I take my calculator, I double check that this is in fact correct. I add up the three angles, I add up the 38, the 27, and the 295. And hopefully, I will get my desired 360. 27 plus 38. And if you look at my calculator right here, you'll see that I wasn't lying. I would never lie to you. 295 plus 27 plus 38 is indeed 360. So that's how exponential angles work. If you've got three angles that add up to 360, or three or more angles, it could be four, it could be I could actually split this a lot of times. I could keep splitting it and keep giving you numbers here and here and here and here. Like if it looks some, like something crazy like this. If you saw like the spokes of a bike tire or something like that, each one of those has an angle measure. But I guarantee if you added up all of those angles, you would get 360. That's the whole point of this. All right? So if you have any more questions for me, feel free to send me an email, leave a comment on the box below, um, ask me in class, or you know, just contact me somehow, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, so that about wraps this up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you, hope you have a great day. All right, bye-bye.